It's a critical time for farmers, as pests and diseases pose serious threats to their crops. These destructive forces can wipe out entire harvests, leaving farmers who depend on these crops for their livelihood in a tough spot. In the past, farmers tried various traditional methods to fight off these challenges. Sometimes they succeeded, but many times they fell short. Now, with the rise of modern farming, scientists have developed advanced techniques that farmers can use to protect their crops more effectively. In today's video, we'll explore these innovative pest and disease control methods that are changing the face of agriculture. Stick around until the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. It will definitely help you stay informed about the latest agricultural techniques. Let's dive into the main topic. Introduction to Pest and Disease Management Pests and diseases have always been a major challenge in agriculture. Managing them effectively is key to ensuring healthy crops and good yields. Pest and disease management involves using different techniques to reduce or completely prevent the damage caused by insects, fungi, bacteria, and other harmful organisms that attack crops. One of the most popular and effective methods used today is Integrated Pest Management, IPM. IPM combines different approaches, from natural methods to advanced technology, to control pests in a way that is both effective and sustainable. By focusing on preventing issues before they happen and using targeted solutions when necessary, IPM helps farmers keep their crops safe without relying too much on chemicals or harmful practices. In the following sections, we'll go through some of the best methods that make up modern pest and disease control. Cultural Control Methods These methods are simple, natural ways that farmers can use to prevent pests and diseases from damaging their crops. These methods involve changing the way crops are grown and maintained, focusing on creating an environment that makes it hard for pests and diseases to thrive. Let's explore some of the most effective cultural control techniques used in agriculture today. Crop rotation. This involves planting different types of crops in the same field over a few seasons. By rotating crops, pests and diseases that depend on a particular plant don't have a chance to build up and become a big problem. For example, if a pest loves corn, planting beans the next season can help disrupt the pest's life cycle. Sanitation practices. Cleaning up plant debris, like fallen leaves, dead plants, or leftover crops, is crucial. Many pests and diseases can hide and survive in old plant material. By removing this debris, farmers reduce the places where pests can live and spread. Adjusting planting dates. Timing can be everything. Some pests appear at certain times of the year, so adjusting when crops are planted can help avoid peak pest periods. For example, if a pest is known to attack early in the season, planting a little later can help reduce the damage. Use of trap crops. These are crops planted specifically to attract pests away from the main crops. For instance, a farmer might plant a type of plant that pests love at the edges of a field, drawing the pests away from the main crops. Once the pests are concentrated on the trap crops, they can be more easily controlled. Cultural control methods are all about smart farming practices. These methods work together to keep the farm environment clean and less appealing to pests and diseases reducing the need for more drastic measures like chemical pesticides. Biological control methods. Biological control methods focus on using nature's own solutions to manage pests and diseases. Instead of relying on chemicals, farmers use beneficial insects, microorganisms, or even other plants to help keep harmful pests under control. This is a more environmentally friendly approach that works with the natural ecosystem. Here's how it works. Introduction of Beneficial Insects Some insects are natural enemies of pests. For example, ladybugs and parasitic wasps can help control aphids, which are small pests that damage crops. By releasing these beneficial insects into the fields, farmers can reduce the population of harmful pests without using chemicals. Microbial Pesticides These are pesticides made from naturally occurring microorganisms, like bacteria and fungi that specifically target pests. 
One well-known example is Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, a bacteria that produces toxins harmful to certain insects, but safe for plants and humans. Farmers spray Bt on crops to control pests like caterpillars and beetles. Enhancing Natural Predators Sometimes the goal is to create a better environment for natural predators of pests. By encouraging birds, spiders, or even other insects to live near farms, pests can be naturally controlled. For example, birds may help by eating large numbers of harmful insects. These biological methods are a great way to control pests in a sustainable manner, reducing the need for synthetic pesticides. They also help maintain a balanced ecosystem, keeping pests in check naturally. Chemical Control Methods These methods involve using substances like pesticides to manage pests and diseases. While chemicals can be very effective, they need to be used carefully to avoid harming the environment, beneficial insects, and even the crops themselves. Here are some of the ways farmers use chemicals safely and effectively. Selective Pesticide Application Instead of spraying large areas, farmers now focus on applying pesticides only where they are needed. This reduces the amount of chemicals used and targets the pests directly, making it more efficient and less harmful to the surrounding environment. Resistance Management Strategies Over time, pests can become resistant to pesticides if the same chemicals are used repeatedly. To prevent this, farmers rotate between different types of pesticides or combine them with other pest control methods. This helps keep pests from developing resistance, ensuring that pesticides remain effective. Safe and targeted use of insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides. Farmers are trained to apply chemicals in a way that minimizes risks. For example, they use the right amount of product, apply it at the best time, and target specific pests or diseases. This helps to protect beneficial insects like bees and reduce pollution. Although chemical control methods are a powerful tool in agriculture, modern farming emphasizes using them wisely and in combination with other methods to maintain a healthy and balanced ecosystem. Physical and Mechanical Control These methods are techniques that physically remove or block pests from damaging crops. These methods don't rely on chemicals, and can be very effective in protecting plants. Let's look at some common approaches farmers use. Barriers and traps. Simple tools like nets, fences, or sticky traps can prevent pests from reaching crops. For example, nets can stop insects or birds from getting to plants, while sticky traps catch flying pests, keeping them from spreading. Manual removal of pests. Sometimes the old-fashioned method of picking pests off plants by hand is the best option, especially in smaller fields or gardens. Farmers can physically remove insects like caterpillars or beetles before they cause serious damage. Soil solarization. This method uses the sun's heat to control pests and diseases in the soil. Farmers cover the soil with clear plastic, trapping sunlight, and heating the soil to temperatures that kill harmful organisms like fungi bacteria, and insect larvae. It's a natural and effective way to sterilize the soil without chemicals. These physical and mechanical methods are often simple but highly effective. They help farmers protect their crops while minimizing the use of harmful substances, making them a great choice for sustainable agriculture. Genetic Control Methods These methods involve using the natural or modified genetics of crops to protect them from pests and diseases. These methods focus on breeding or engineering plants to be naturally resistant, reducing the need for chemicals or other control measures. Here's how it works. Breeding pest-resistant crop varieties. Over time, scientists and farmers have developed crop varieties that are naturally resistant to specific pests or diseases. For example, some types of wheat are bred to resist rust, a common fungal disease. By planting these resistant varieties, Farmers can avoid many of the problems caused by pests and diseases. Genetically modified organisms, GMOs. In some cases, scientists use genetic engineering to create crops with built-in resistance to pests. For example, Bt crops have been modified to produce a natural toxin from Bacillus thuringiensis, 
that kills certain insects when they try to eat the plant. This reduces the need for chemical pesticides and makes pest control more efficient. These genetic control methods offer farmers a powerful tool to naturally protect their crops, making farming more sustainable and less reliant on chemical treatments. By using plants that can defend themselves, farmers can focus on growing healthier and more productive crops. Advanced Monitoring and Diagnostic Technologies these advanced technologies help farmers detect pests and diseases early, making it easier to control them before they cause serious damage. With modern tools, farmers can keep a close eye on their crops and respond quickly when problems arise. Here are some of the most useful technologies. Drones and sensors. Drones equipped with cameras and sensors can fly over fields and take detailed images. These images can show signs of pest infestations or diseases that might not be visible from the ground. Sensors placed in the field can also track conditions like temperature, humidity, and soil moisture, which affect pest activity. Precision Agriculture Tools These tools use data to help farmers monitor specific areas of their fields more closely. For example, Precision sprayers can target areas where pests are found, reducing the need for widespread pesticide use and saving both time and resources. Digital tools and apps. Farmers now have access to smartphone apps that help identify pests and diseases. By simply taking a photo of the affected plant, the app can suggest what pest or disease might be causing the problem and provide solutions. These advanced technologies allow farmers to act quickly and accurately, preventing problems from spreading and ensuring healthier crops with fewer losses. Push-Pull Technology This is a smart and natural way to manage pests in crops by using the power of plants. This method relies on using certain plants to push pests away from the main crops while pulling them toward another area where they can be controlled. Here's how it works. Push Plants these are plants that pests don't like. Farmers plant them around their main crops to push pests away. For example, plants with strong smells or natural chemicals can repel pests and keep them from attacking crops. Pull plants. On the other hand, pull plants attract pests. Farmers plant these in a different area to lure pests away from the main crops. Once the pests gather around the pull plants, they can be trapped or controlled more easily. Example, a popular case of push-pull technology is seen in corn farming. Desmodium, the push plant, repels pests like the corn stem borer, while napier grass, the pull plant, attracts and traps them. This method is a natural and eco-friendly way to protect crops without the heavy use of chemicals, making it a great option for sustainable farming. Sterile insect technique, SIT. It is a method that helps control pest populations by making sure they can't reproduce. It's a simple but effective process that doesn't involve harmful chemicals. Here's how it works. Sterilizing insects. Scientists breed large numbers of male insects in a lab and make them sterile, meaning they can't produce offspring. This is usually done using radiation. Releasing sterile insects. These sterile male insects are then released into the fields where they mate with wild females. Since the sterile males can't produce offspring, the pest population gradually decreases over time. This technique is especially useful for controlling pests like fruit flies and mosquitoes, which can cause big problems for crops. SIT is safe for the environment and helps reduce pest numbers in a natural way without using pesticides. Using a combination of these advanced pest and disease control techniques can help farmers protect their crops effectively and sustainably. By continuously monitoring and adapting, farmers can ensure long-term crop health and higher yields. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay updated on more farming tips and techniques.